Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening aboard the International Space Station. I'm Josh Byerly. Hi, Dan Rather. Josh, why don't you let me take this one? Okay, okay, okay. I'll just go stand over, over here. Houston Station on Space to Ground. Now, welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I am not Josh Byerly. This week, one Progress cargo craft departed while another arrived. On Monday, the Progress 52 undocked from the space station, carrying with it trash and other items the crew no longer needs. It had been attached to the pier's docking compartment since July, but pier's wasn't empty for long. On Wednesday, Progress 54 lifted off from Kazakhstan and took a six-hour trip to the outpost. It is loaded with 2.8 tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the station crew. They'll spend the next several weeks unloading it. As the world gears up for the Winter Olympics in Russia, flight engineers Mike Hopkins and Rick Mastrocchio joined Team USA bobsledder Kurt Tomasevich and others in a Google Plus Hangout. Yeah, uh, of course, uh, go Team USA, certainly. They talked about the importance of fitness, both in space and on Earth. Of course, the ISS played an important role in the opening ceremonies for the Olympics. The torch used to light the Olympic cauldron made a visit to the space station and was taken out on a spacewalk. It returned to Earth in November with the Expedition 37 crew. In station science, the crew worked on a blood pressure experiment called BP-REG. Coming back to Earth after six months in space isn't for the faint of heart, but it can still cause the astronauts and cosmonauts to get a little lightheaded. The cardiovascular system doesn't have to work as hard in space since it doesn't have to battle gravity to pump blood. Once the space flyers are back on Earth, their blood gets pulled down and away from the head, and their blood pressure drops. With BP-REG, the crew monitors their blood pressure before, during, and after their time on board the station. Scientists hope to use the data to better predict how each crew member will be affected. This week, Chuck asks us how much water is recycled on ISS? Well, about 80 liters of water is purified and recycled each week on board from both sweat and urine. This eliminates the need to launch a lot of water into space. Water, of course, is heavy and expensive. And recycling will be essential for future space missions to an asteroid or Mars. This technology is actually being used right now to provide clean drinking water to some of the most remote areas of our planet. This is just one of the ways the space station is benefiting humanity. Make sure you send us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week, or at least Joshua. I think I'm done here. <laughs>